Hey, what's up? It's your boy Charles Young back at you again. Follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's Open T H O T S dot com. Um, I want to follow up on uh, the last topic I was just talking about is um, washing out other people's belief systems. This bourbon is hilarious. Washing out other washing out uh, other people's belief systems and started developing your own opinion. And one thing, the first thing I had to do. When I started to realize, I was just telling you, if you don't know, follow, check out the video uh, previously. The video will tell you a little bit about the story I went through. Um, I had to start, the first thing I had to do was turn off the TV. I had to turn off the TV. I had to shut off the computer. And I had to just stay be in, uh, basically confine myself to myself. I had to just start listening to myself and start trying to work on developing my own opinions and what how I really feel based upon the information that I knew personally not what somebody else has been telling me the whole entire time my whole entire life not someone's not the information that somebody's been trying to throw down my throat forever and ever and ever again I had to start looking at what did I know personally what did I know that affected me what did I like what I don't like what I agree with what I disagree with based upon the information that I know that is for me. Now that's the same situation for you. Based upon the information that you know about, you need to make uh, evaluate yourself and say, this is what I believe, this is what I don't believe, this is what I really feel passionate about, this is what I disagree with, this is what I hate, this is what I don't like. You need to start reevaluating yourself. But the best way to do it is you have to shut off the computers, you have to shut off all the social medias and shut off all the social sites and shut everything down and just start with you first. This is the first really step to uh, 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 enlightenment because it's just like going, going cold turkey. It really is because a lot of the time when you say you know what I'm shutting off everybody else's belief uh, I need to do me you know somebody will always try to influence you to still accept their opinion now I'm not telling you let me let me straighten this out for you I'm not telling you don't go to nowhere don't go anywhere don't do this don't do that don't do this all I'm telling you is the fact is that learn that before you start accepting people's beliefs, make sure that you're one with yourself and you're strong enough in your beliefs that no one can shake them or rattle them. Because a lot of the times what ends up happening is we have a belief that we kind of believe and then we bring it to other individuals and that person with their information will shut you down and make you feel like less than dirt. <laughs> and you accept their opinion because... They, you felt inferior to what they were saying, and they just they can out talk you. Some of the times we can out talk individuals so much that it just make a person say, "I'm never going to talk to them again," or they're right, and they don't even even challenge uh, what you're saying. They just kind of agree with it because they're fearful and they don't ever want to say anything to you. So what I'm going to say to you is that be for sure in your beliefs what you believe. If this is what you believe, stick with it until and. And keep that belief. Another thing is keep that belief to yourself. Keep it to yourself until you're strong enough to say, I can express the way I feel and no one's going to shake or rattle me. Do that. It's very important. Very important that you know that what you believe is very important to you. Nobody else is going to really... Most people, they give you their opinion and they're so passionate about it that it almost feels like they're telling you that it's fact. And then you kind of just lose sight of yourself. So before you accept an opinion and a belief, make sure you do the research with yourself first. Make sure this is how you truly feel based upon your information. And this is what you truly feel. Because if somebody finds out that you're wavery, they're going to think that you're a liar. And they're going to be able to challenge you all the time. There's no information that you can say to them that they're not going to outdo because they'll just say, oh, well, I can just out talk them or well, I can just bring up all this information and then they'll shut up because some people just want to be right. And most of the time they're not right at all. Sometimes I want to be right. I'm not going to say I'm not, but, you know, sometimes I'd be mostly wrong. So, you know, and, and it's a very human, it's a human characteristic. We all do it. We all want to be right about something, and we all want to be right and passionate about it at the same time, knowing as much information. And we always want to impose it on other people. So, I mean, it's very, it's not a bad, it's it's not, let's say, it's not an evil type thing. It's, it's very human-like. So, 
for the most part, until you develop that fact of saying, well, that's your opinion, and, it's, and it doesn't have to be mine, we can agree to disagree, people are going to do that. So don't be afraid of that. Know that people are going to do that. Just be confident in your belief and what you believe about that situation that you are believe about. Um, you see, I uh, told you to turn off the TV, uh, you know, make sure you're confident. Keep your belief to yourself until you feel powerful enough to share it, especially if you're coming out about anything that has to do about religious base. If you come from a religious background, you better be very powerful in your situation because those people have a lot of power potential and they work together in groups to orchestrate things and it may not be always helpful, but they have enough power to influence you based upon the information that they know and they will change your whole perception and you'll be believing in things that you didn't want to believe at first you wanted to question them and then but since because they're around now you just are afraid to question anything so you know this is this is this is some of the things that can help you of course i'm going to do more videos on it if these things are helpful to you if you don't really understand them if you want more advice let me know i want to talk to you i want to know what how you feel about the situation if you like it or dislike it let me know um uh, follow me on openthoughts.com that's open t h o t s dot com everything will be in the description box box below um so i uh, thank you and you have a good one